Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome. This is AmeriCorps for you. My name is Guadalupe and today we will be discussing Black History Month, more specifically the best black artists throughout the decades. The first artist we will be discussing today is from the 70s. His name is Louis Draper and he was born in 1935 in New York. His style is predominantly photography and he would just focus on capturing black people around Harlem doing normal day-to-day -day things. Um, his style was always black and white. His main focus was capturing the beauty and simplicity, which is precisely why he would just uh, do kind of poignant shoots around New York of African American people doing normal things. And they're really beautiful pictures. Uh, they're really simple, but they're bold. They all um, are really expressive, regardless of the simplicity of them. Um, his family was al always poor, but they did encourage education on him, so he studied photography in college. And he actually studied it because one day when he was in the dorms, uh, on his floor he noticed a magazine that was a book of photographies, and that's what really ignited his passion. And he even said that God put it there himself so he could really realize what his passion was. He became really well recognized after being mentored by a few really good photographers around New York and he passed away in 2002. The best artist from the 80s is notoriously Sean michel Basquiat. He is so well known that he even dated Madonna and had collaborations with Andy Warhol. He really brought more attention to the art movement as a black person in America. And his style of art was predominantly graffiti or like chicken scratch, a little bit of abstract. And he was also from New York. Although he was a high school dropout, his mom always encouraged art on him. They would often visit museums and stuff when he was a kid, and that is precisely why he got into art. It kind of always came naturally to him, and so while he was working at a warehouse, he started graffitiing around town under the name Samo, which became really famous and he would graffiti with his friend and after that he started going to shows and started getting more recognition until he just kept making more connections. Uh, he not only did art but some films and he was in a band as well so he had just a really interesting artistic mindset that attracted a lot of really big people um, so he had no trouble making connections and rising up in fame but unfortunately he passed away at the young age of 27. The third artist we will be discussing today is from the 90s, and she's actually a black woman, Lorna Simpson. Uh, her style was predominantly collage art, photography, um, Photoshop, that kind of stuff. Uh, her message was always political critique and feminist art, and she also originated in New York. Lorna Simpson is an important artist because in the 90s she was the first black woman to have her art shown in a really big art show in New York. And this art show was called the Venice Biennale and it was really important because it was hard enough to get recognition as a black artist and even harder to get recognition as a black female artist. So it was a really big step. Um, it was like a turning point for artists, especially African-American artists, to get recognized. And her art style mainly focuses on how it is being a black woman in America, how the culture affects and shapes human life, and how gender and race really uh, play a role in our life in America. The fourth artist we will be discussing is from the 2000s, and this would be Gerald Gibbs. He is a young artist, he's up and coming, but his style is painting, and what I really like about his painting is that it's really unique and gives you a kind of sensation that is rare in most art that is popular today. It has a very unique kind of taste and he mainly focuses on um, capturing how his youth was in Baltimore and how growing up around his family affected him and like his childhood experiences but he paints them in a really beautiful way like you can really get a taste for this culture and Baltimore and everything just by looking at these paintings. They're really expressive, they're really illustrative, and that's why I believe he deserves more recognition. And since he's young, there's not much about his life yet other than um, I believe he got his MFA in Maryland, So, but and he's had a few shows, but he is up and coming, so there's not much there yet. 
but his art is really good and should be recognized more. Gibbs was born in Baltimore in 1988 and he recently acquired his master's degree in the Maryland Institute of Art and he says that he always had a natural affluence for art as a kid. He never had to take any classes, it's just always something that came really natural to him. So it made sense for him to study it in college and everything. We hope you enjoyed our video, make sure to like and subscribe for more future history videos and make sure to wash your hands, wear your mask and stay safe.